definitely a lot of pot uh, potential kill power in the character. And uh, a lot of opportunities for setups. But we'll see how that plays uh, with Roy, who's also a character that, uh, with a sword, uh, and is also very fast. Two heavy hitter characters, for sure. Uh, on the other side, we have Hero and. Uh, Meat Fighter? No, uh, Meat Sword Fighter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's going to be pretty interesting to see. Huh. And the hero, I'm, I'm definitely going to see a lot of chaos coming from the hero in doubles. The hero, man, is always a wild card. I mean, because, like... You never know what's going to happen, and you yeah. always got to be prepared. You, you have to be prepared for the worst when you're going to get to I, hero. I, sure. I, I think, because that character was complained about a lot when, when he came on, out. On release? 100%. Yeah, yeah. a lot. But I, I, th I think people figured out the strategies to mm -hmm. fight him. Because there definitely is counterplay to the character. But I did hear in like uh, specific regions that he was uh, banned from. But like, honestly, I think that's so silly. It's all about like studying, labbing, yeah. and figuring out like what you can do to right. go in on that character. I wonder you know, if he's still banned. Guy, I know where he well, was banned. Not. It was it's like a sou southern region of Australia. But uh, I wonder if he's still banned there. That'd be really funny if he is. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious. Just they just don't know the matchup over there. But yeah, definitely a wild card. Yeah. <laughs> the spells do a lot of damage if, if you get hit by the wrong one. Or uh, even kill you. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Just instantly kill you. Dreams. Yeah. I like that name. Yeah, he has a lot of projectiles Every that time. are just really big. Snooze will catch you, and then like he'll die at like zero. I feel like, I feel like this is like a really like super anime dubs team right here. Like dreams, hope. Oh. Inspiration. They're not even going by Motivation. I got all excited <laughs> and the Byleth isn't even coming out. Uh, just a what what are these just characters? A, just a little tease. Oh. <laughs> okay. I got all excited and then I got baited so hard. So interesting uh, team here. Shulk and DK. Okay. DK being a heavy hitter and Shulk being so the guy that's going to go in really fast with his hits. But yeah, go ahead. So I was wondering who Wonder Red's going to go. He is going to go Little Mac. I didn't. Oh, wow. no. Wow. Taking full advantage of Little Mac's poor recovery. Yeah, and uh, that was actually a missed tech from Wonder Bear there, but I can't really blame him. That was a lot going on. Uh, I don't think it was a. Ooh. Very nice. Rio will <laughs> get that two frame spike. I see you, Rio. That's always so satisfying to land. Oh, yeah, he needs to go in and help his teammate because right now Shulk is getting juggled. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Lil Mac is definitely a character that needs help all the time. Uh, that is so good. DK armoring through Lil Mac, which yeah, is kind no, of ironic. Was, I, I, honestly, I thought that knockout punch was going to knock him out, but instead. <laughs> yeah. And that is Little such Mac a good confirm. Out. Like, like. They, they have done that two times now. The Ike back throw, which sends them pretty low into the Little Mac up smash. Uh, I think that was confirmed even in Smash 4, so... Yeah, no, it's not gonna kill me though. There is so much super armor going on right now. Oh, but the DK... Yeah, good air dodge read. Little Mac's gonna uh, take that with a force smash. Oh, you're trying to catch it with a knockout punch, but he missed there. And... And Wonder Bear has been losing his stocks really quickly, but it doesn't really matter because Ryo has held on to his stocks so well. Yeah, I was just about to say, Wonder Bear's doing a pretty good job since they that last stock. Okay. Yeah, they can, it's going to be up. Oh, yeah. okay, nice. Good stuff. I actually thought he was going to survive that, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's three. And game uh, one. I th I th and uh, Ike's back throw being one of the few throws that works that well with Ike's up smash because there's not a lot of throws that send him so low like that. I think the other one might be like Snake's forward throw or right, something right. like that. Uh, but that was a uh, really solid. And uh, I didn't, I never realized this, but there's a lot of kill power in this team. Obviously, you have Little Mac who's going to armor through a lot of your moves, and you have Ike who has a lot of kill power on his own. But yeah, there's a lot of combo potential between these two that's that end in, in stocks taken. So uh, definitely a really interesting pair we have right here. <coughs> Our choosing stages right now. Let's see where they're going to be taking us here. He just reminded me that I left my empty water bottle in my car and I definitely want to get that. 
and actually clean it really well. Because I'm really thirsty, and I can go for some water right about now. Yeah, well, hopefully it'll be all right by, <laughs> by the time you reach it. <laughs> but if anything, I'm more thirsty on like the next match that's about to begin. There you go. So I'm looking in the background right now in the venue, and it, it started to get you know, more crowded. Yeah, we definitely got people coming in here. So uh, the blue team is going to elect to go Smashville. Did you see that Future right there, like letting him charge uh, DK uh, his punch on? Did, did you see that? It was just like a respectable yeah. like Future, I guess. Yeah, definitely uh, good little reaction there. Yeah, DK having a lot of trouble with his big body landing as I. Yeah, Wonder Bear doing a really good job dealing a lot of damage on the show. Backslide actually hits and he still makes the uh, ledge flash on there. Oh, but Wonderbread with the knockout punch. He still has it. He's looking for an opportunity to smack someone with it. Yeah, that edge guard will be good enough. Oh, he made that back. Yeah. I, I didn't think he was going to make that. And uh, just, just in case, his teammate was actually trying to save him. Just in case he wasn't going to make it back. They gotta be really careful with Ike on ledge right now. Because they don't want to stay too close to him. Since I can get that, you know, slick gimmick. Yeah, with DK taking full advantage of that situation right there. Edge guarding uh, Lomax really close to the boss zone. Ooh, good interruption coming from Wonder Bread there, saving uh, Jaya. Yeah, and Smashville being such a small stage, like, there, there is not a lot of room for these four right. characters, especially with such a, a couple of really big characters, too, like like uh, DK and I. Definitely not a lot of room. Ooh. The four smash is going to armor through DK's move, another kill right there. Yeah, it's up too. KO punch is on deck. He hasn't landed one yet, but he might land one right now. He's definitely scoping out for the KO punch. Oh, yeah, he's looking for it. Oh! But uh, you got interrupted for it. Ooh, good stuff. Uh, yeah, honestly, uh, he did get hit by the last uh, hit from DK's up, so he was still able to recover it, recover it back on stage. Okay, here we go, Shulk all alone here. Yeah, it's going to be a 2v1 right now. and uh... <clears throat> Oh, he's got the shield or on right now. Yeah, and, and to be fair, this is the right strategy. Uh, camping on the platform because if you can take Little Mac out of the equation, you can essentially make it a two v one. But it won't be a two v one anymore because no, he is gonna back it. throw <laughs> uh, into that uh, up smash transition. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good awareness from from the Rio Wonderbread pair, um, and that was definitely a practice setup because <laughs> Rio was on the platform waiting for Little Mac to get the grab. Right, uh, he was definitely ready for that.